Within this lesson, I want to talk about the description tag. So if you notice within the last lesson, we talked about title tags and description was right underneath there. But there is a difference between description tags. Uh, we see that it's written out as a meta tag. So it doesn't have its own separate element tag as uh, title does, where we indicate that it's a title. Uh, so we're using meta and the name of the meta the attribute within the meta tag is description and then that content here is where we enter in that descriptive wording. So previously description tags were important with uh, search indexing so they would take a look at those description tags they would also look at keyword tags so same thing as meta it would be named keywords and they would look at all of these tags in order to help determine what the content was about and then unfortunately a lot of people started spamming these uh, filling up the descriptive wording with not content relevant information uh, so they had to stop the practice of looking at the description tag as being relevant for the content that's contained within the site so it doesn't look at the content that's within the description tag uh, much anymore but it is still an important tag and I'm going to explain to you um, within this lesson why it's important even today uh, so the way that Google uses them is that it can also use them as snippets when your search ter when your search page comes up within search uh, we're gonna see that description there so there's uh, sometimes they'll create their own description and sometimes they'll use the description tag so then again this is up to Google's description discretion uh, how they're using that uh, another thing to keep in mind try to keep it up to about 160 characters don't overdo it and the reason again is because you're targeting uh, descriptions that Google might be using as snippets within search results and another tip uh, when you are writing those description tags make sure that there's attention grabbing information like take action type content so when people do they do come up within search results uh, they might be more inclined to click through them and that's the last tip that it can be used to increase your click-through rate within search results so I'm just gonna go back into our search page and we'll see here that sometimes whatever content is contained within here is actually going to be the content within the description tag. So I had to update my search here so that I could find an example of where those descriptive tags are being used. So we see here again um, using those keywords we see that it gets bolded when I type in test and we see that the description here for test your internet connection bandwidth to locations around the world with interactive broadband test. Uh, so we can see that this is the description that Google has chosen to use for this website. And when we go to the source code and we open that up, and I know there's quite a lot of stuff in here, but we see that exact same description here in the meta description tags and they've even got some meta name keywords as well so this this uh, keywords uh, they're mainly obsolete now uh, but you will find websites that do still contain them uh, so this is interesting that uh, description is uh, being taken and that they've kept those uh, keywords in there as well and as you can see that this isn't actually harming their results they're doing really well within search uh, when I type in test and another thing to keep in mind and when I we look at over here we say that I uh, get some attention grabbing information for that content uh, so that makes sense when the users presented with the keyword and if it's bolded so maybe that when they quickly glance over and something jumps out here uh, so here we've got uh, so if we were looking for uh, part of the world's largest private educational testing and measurement organization so if we were looking for an organization something to do with testing this might well jump out more than the first result 
And the thing, the way that the search engines work, the more these get clicked, you'll find that they actually start moving up within rankings. So it's always a good idea to get people, and as well, you're going to start driving more traffic as well. Uh, so there's uh, lots of benefit to taking the time to write out just your meta description tags. And the way that you do that, just type, go into your code. So within the head section of your HTML, so it's meta, name is description, and then content, and whatever content is contained within that content attribute is going to become the description, meta description tag for your web page.